In this quick training, we're going to take a look at how you can upgrade or downgrade a plan with SmartSuite. So if that's of interest, stick around and let's get into it. So let's start by jumping into my SmartSuite account here. I'm logged into my workspace. The first thing I need to do is go into the upper right corner and click on my avatar. This of course presumes that I am the person who is in charge of the billing. Since I am in charge of the billing for this account, I can access this. So I will go ahead and scroll on down to workspace information. By clicking this, it's going to open up my admin panel and I can see the information on the workspace that I have this login name. I am this assigned role, like account administrator in this case. I am an employee, active, etc. So inside of here, we see the current plan that we are on. In this case, an enterprise plan. If I want to upgrade or downgrade, it's going to all happen from the same place. I simply click here on manage plan. This is going to open up the back end that's going to show me the history on plans and billing that I have for my particular workspace. In this case, we can see that I've had six different users for three different months. If I want to make a change to my plan up here underneath the plan itself, there's an option to change the plan. Click here and we can see the different options available to us whether we want to pay monthly or switch to an annual membership. And as we make that toggle, the different prices are shown here as well. When you're ready to make that change, let's say I wanted to move to a professional plan from enterprise. So in my case, downgrade. If I want to do that, I simply make the selection and continue to check out in the bottom right corner. In my case, I don't want to actually make any changes because I'm very happy with the plan that I'm on. So I'll go ahead and cancel out of here. But this is exactly where you need to go in order to make changes to your particular workspace plan in SmartSuite. If you have any questions about what we covered in this training, please ask them below in the comments section of this video. And until then, we'll see you in the next training.